that background noise is not too, too loud. There we go. Welcome on in, everybody. We are going to be doing something with these poor little short naked nails today. Well, short. Um, <laughs> I filed them down quite a bit, but they're still uh, pretty long. I mean, most people would probably think they're pretty long. Shortish for me equals not really that short. Um, I'm like moderately organized. CPU, why did you just... Uh, I'm, I'm having some issues with my computer being a goofball sometimes, so I'm also trying to keep an eye on that. Like it really just... I don't know sometimes it just it does things at the weirdest times anyway um, I'm gonna do the usual quick discord and Twitter notifications and of course if you are in the future watching on YouTube please feel free to subscribe or if you'd like to join me live you can come follow at twitch.tv slash Colette MSLP uh, Twitter hello there we go um, so I think that's that. Um, computer. And I also have to keep an eye on the dropped frames, or hopefully not dropped frames, because, you know, hopefully computer behaves today. Hey, Trap. Hey, son. Is the, is the background noise bad? Like on a scale of one to ten. I mean, it's it's loud to me, but the the mic has that thing where it's supposed to only pick up me and not like stuff from that direction. So I don't know how much you guys can actually hear it. Hmm. Okay. And hopefully we won't have too many dropped frames today. So I got inspired by a manicure I saw on Instagram. Hey KJD, welcome. 15 months with the Twitch Prime. Thank you so much for the support. It sounds all right. Okay, I'm hoping they'll like be done soon. Um like for for my own benefit if nothing else but it's like really nice outside i don't want to close my window yeah i mean like when i look at the 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 what the mixer the audio mixer thing like it doesn't like my voice is obviously doing much more to make it uh register than the background but i just wanted to make sure and check weird amethyst twitch has been doing weird shit lately but yeah, if it if it like was bad, I could turn on my filter or whatever that thing is called. So we do have inspo today. Um, I don't have any little small butterflies like this. And part of me is kind of like, meh. And then part of me is just like, well, so you don't get to like straight up directly copy some shit. But I want to do something that's like that. Something that's like a reverse stamped French manicure type of a situation is the plan. Um, I'm not sure exactly what color yet. Like what color will partially depend on the design. But I think probably... Like I'd probably want to use... Because what the... What, blah, blah. I initially saw it on maybe on what's up page and then I went to the actual nail artist page and she said she did the reverse stamping with the pigment mixed with the top coat so not just like a buffed on pigment application which I think would be tough to like keep within the lines of a reverse stamping yeah Zuli hi so I don't want to use any of my containers that are like really small since we're going to be mixing this with some clear. I figured I'd pull out this bottle of Wet n Wild, which actually has no, no brush. It's just a, it's just a naked stem in there. Anyway, so like my bigger containers, I have a gold, 
we have gun metal. Like the Sally Hansons are pretty big. Uh, some of the ones I have from like from Amazon are kind of smaller. And like for normal pigment application, like you don't really need very much. But I feel like for this, it's kind of going to need a little bit more because you're going to be like mixing it in there. Um, so um the rose i don't i don't think i want to use the rose gold the rose gold always kind of disappoints me and makes me sad but I, where do i don't i have hollow with this hello don't i did i already take it out okay we have mermaid we have peacock we have gunmetal we have the gold where is my Sally Hansen hollow pigment question mark no come on uh, look at it it's all organized it's all each little pigment has its own little bag so that the whole box doesn't become covered in fucking pigment <sighs> Did I say hi, Crafty? I think I did, but where, where else would this be? Why would this be anywhere else? Why, why isn't this in here? I mean, I don't think I'm overlooking it. They're all like everything is neatly labeled in here, but I don't understand why it would be anywhere else. I don't think I have a second box of pigments question mark is it in here <gasps> oh this is dusty I should why isn't this in its own little bag it should be it should be and it's not okay we're gonna need to do some tests Oh, when did you? Oh, I did not even notice it. Okay, we got to reach carefully over here. I wish I went the other day on Streamlabs to like where they have suggestions and I upvoted every single fucking suggestion that had to do with Streamlabs adding some kind of an alert notification for channel point redemptions. Because there's no like they're, they don't really show up that much, to be honest. They almost like fade into the background to me um I, I wish I could just even just a little bing just something would you like a treat would you like a treat oh this is blowing around because the treats were weighing it down what else can I have weigh it down this maybe okay <laughs> hey Ash I haven't decided yet. Beanie, that's all for right now, sir. That's all for right now. I'm gonna stash this over here. We have lovely, lovely lilacs from the garden. It's like a gigantic bouquet. It's so nice. Oh, you need to be cut out of there. Okay, ignore that one. All the rest of them are cute. Oh wait, there's another one. Yeah, we'll cut him out. It's so pretty. <clears throat> wait we don't want to we just want it like in in the little side of beanie's camp <laughs> oh wait another treat from ash oh be careful but they're delicious here you go buddy nom 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 he is waiting He's like, I know I get more than that. Is this okay here? Is that off camera? Okay. So, we have a hollow pigment. You can kind of see a little bit of rainbow. We have a peacock pigment. Or no, this is the mermaid. The green kind. Um, This is the peacock. The blue kind. Hmm gunmetal which i i don't know that would really depend on what i what the design that i choose and i also pulled out gold so 
the, the I, I like like the asymmetry that's the word I'm looking for I really like the asymmetry on the inspiration it it's kind of complicated I had very mixed reviews of these pigments the pigments are pretty good quality pigments but the whole doing it with regular polish was a little bit of a, jib, a debate by Sally Hansen I think so what I was looking for when I was looking through my plates and I looked through all my little plates in addition to like my my MoU plates was like something that would give me like outlines that I could then fill in with like the pigment the clear clear pigment mix these are contender but I don't know how strong of a contender they are I'm not super in love with any of the choices that I have what was I even thinking of on this plate I'm oh I think I was thinking of this like not the butterflies part just like this flower part that might be interesting I don't know about that though something on here this one I think I could turn oh are we gonna focus here no yes like focus please camera please there the swirly one like you could turn that into an asymmetrical design by getting a little little tape and like following a curve and then like removing everything beyond the curve Did, am i making sense oh camera please i know it's very there horrible angle but i just get too much glare from the ring light you know what i mean though like i'd have to i'd have to get like a tape cone camera you can like literally see the ceiling and the camera see it says canon right there well, the reflection is in focus but the actual designs are not in focus camera please just focus on here mm. anyway that one is a consideration um there are some on here they'd be a little harder to use they're a little bit more like geometric like like these ones over here and this one might be a little bit more difficult to make into like a tit a shape that I really like for a French tip. Mm. The gothic one. This one, I could do this. This one like on the tip, but maybe not as pointy as it is. Or I could just fill in the corners with more pigment. Or I could, you know... I, I don't know if I would like it like somehow like at the cuticle like either going around the cuticle or like coming up the cuticle if that makes sense like this or like that mm. yeah these roses maybe but they don't really have very much where the pigment would show through it would be more heavy like with the black so no probably not that on on second thought this one has these what are these what are the what what what, what is the word for the hyacinths is that what these are Hydra, not hydrangeas hyacinth no plumeria that's what these are these are hyacinth um like just the flower portion of this like at the tip of the nail might look kind of cute mm. and then i think there's flowers on this yeah this one has like i don't know what are these supposed to be like cherry blossoms or something i haven't even used this plate it's still got its its cover on but these flowers in the corner i feel like i could i could use those I don't I don't know I wasn't thrilled okay you guys know how many how many stamping plates I have I wasn't thrilled with my selection like I kind of wanted to just like go on and buy that um I'm, I'm not even sure what it was bundle monster maybe maniology plate started with a b I think I don't think I yeah I don't remember it was it was really cute though the butterflies there's some butterflies on this too but they're not like placed in such a way that I could like turn them into a french tip i don't think even the flowers would be kind of questionable i i kind of really like them though 
Hmm. Like this portion where it kind of like from there and it kind of like curves down a little bit. I, I don't know though. <sighs> decisions, decisions. But yeah, as soon as I decide which of these to go with, like I'm, I kind of lean toward this one, but it would, I don't know. It would be kind of, if I use the part that I'm really looking at, it would be kind of more of like a pointy French tip than like a, well, of course I could use it like this. Maybe that would work from different angles along there. Hmm. That one is actually kind of in the lead right now, I think. Like this is simple, but each, probably each nail would have to be Oh, come on. You have to like one of these angles. Like there's not enough of them to be able to create uh, differences between each nail. It would pretty much basically be the same on each nail, which is not necessarily a bad thing also. I mean, those are really cute little flowers. They would go, I mean, they would fit right on the smile line. You know? Half an hour. Hey, music gal. Gonna get snug, all right, trap. I'm I'm trying to decide. I don't have <laughs> music, gal. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome. Twenty three months with the tier three. Holy crap! I'm I'm kind of indecisive right now because I don't have. I thought maybe I would have something that was like similar butterflies but not the same butterflies or maybe some leaves or something I really didn't have anything like what I kind of wanted so now I'm kind of trying to figure out which of what I do have I actually want to use and I don't even know like what I what I choose I, I yeah I like these oh come on camera the bottom of this one hmm well, you can see my uh, my Moyu <laughs> the side of this thing. The reflections are so clear. These flowers that it doesn't want to focus on. Not not the leaves so much, just the flower part. But then it would be the same on every nail. Part of what I liked was that every nail wasn't exactly the same, and that's when I was kind of thinking about these flowers. Some portion of them. The big flower in the middle kind of makes a problem too. Because it's like you don't actually have very much unless you have that as part of it. Which, I mean, might be okay. But if you only had like a part of it, I feel like it would look kind of dumb. The big flower. You know what I mean? Mm. Wait, which ones? These ones or the other ones? The other ones I was thinking of, like, I think I'm pretty much, I don't want to do these roses because they don't have enough room for the pigment to shine through. I'm going to do the pigment mixed, like, in a clear. Because that's, that's what she used. So hopefully I'll get kind of that same effect. Like, it didn't look chromey, but it looked really shiny. This, I was considering this. I don't. I don't think that's really what I want though. No, we're going to disqualify that one. We got to start narrowing it down, you guys. I think I'm going to disqualify this one too. Because it's not, no, it's not quite what I want. Yeah, bath time for Bainey. Try not, try not to get too into it on camera. Maybe this one is really the way to go. And I can just... I can just remove what I don't want with tape. Any focus? Well, you can you can kind of see it. This the swirly one. Hmm. I mean, it would be kind of a pain in the butt, but it would also be kind of cool. Because you could create a lot of different shapes. Mm. 
Let's see. Ooh. Stop that, Google. I just want to make it bigger. Oh. I like those. Yeah, I didn't have I thought I thought maybe I'd have like some overlapping leaves or something. So that'd be so nice because you could take different parts of the edge, like as your, you know, as your smile line to just create a little bit of variance. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that was the plan to do like a, like a little tape cone. Those are really nice to just like get in there and clean up. Or we we I thought about this for a minute. I I don't know if that would really. No, I don't think that's what I want either. Like it would make kind of a cool. French tip design. This this flower portion of that one. But I don't think it's what I want. Ultra Tay with the five months. Hello Tay. How are you? I'm trying to make up my mind what I'm doing here. I don't I don't know what I'm doing. Five five months already, dude. I hope you're doing well. Okay, we're not we're gonna put that in the no pile. The no pile has to get bigger. This isn't the no pile. <laughs> More soup, son? I, I wonder how well this one will... And then I had this one, too. Like, it's old. Is this Conan? Yeah, this is Conan. Like, that's kind of cute, too. But that would be another one where it would be kind of just more the same across every nail instead of having any variance to it. I don't know why I'm hung up on there being variants. It probably would be plenty cute, even if they were all the same. Let's experiment. Let's let's experiment with this one. Um, I'm gonna get some tape. I feel kind of like maybe I want some other kind of tape, but this will work. Benny, what are you doing? Settle down, bud. Um. Should we make the flowers hollow, blue, green flowers would probably be weird. Metallic flowers, we could go gold or we could go gunmetal. Hey, yo. I feel kind of like the blue. Let's start with that. I'm going to need something, too, as, like, a, a base for my nails. Let's move some of these out of the way. Like, if I'm going to have my nail beds naked, probably, like, one of my Zoya nakeds. Which drawer are they in? Hmm. Hmm. Mm, well, this is one of them. Oh, this is one of them, too. How many are in here? At one point, I bought all the nakeds. Oh, three? Word? Four? Okay, I think there's six. That's not... I don't know where the other two are. We go with the pink perfector, because that would be cute. The other ones are okay. I I don't know if I've even actually used them all. I I remember kind of not loving the mauve one. I forget what that's supposed to be like. They're all technically for particular color correcting problems, but they're also just nice little sheer polishes. Okay, we'll use Pink Perfector. Let's start a new page in the nail polish sketchbook. What is today? 20th where is the time gone how is it May 20th dude I don't like it the mauve and the buff yeah I 
I really like the pink. It's very, I mean, they're all, they're, they're all like minimal difference. Okay. Let's get a paper towel. Let's get, I, I don't know how much, like, I should, I shouldn't need that much top coat or clear. I'm going to be using just like clear. This top coat can dry too fast sometimes. Like, I don't really know how much clear and how much pigment I need. Wait, is this the... That's the hollow. This is the blue. And then we're going to need, like, a small brush also. Mm. <laughs> this will probably be fine. What am I going to use to get this out of here? I mean, like, okay, so... Mm. like do I want to just like whoop. okay this is it's fine this is fine everything is fine everything is fine don't panic in these situations panic is not helpful close close the container <laughs> get your lint roller and just this is fine. We're just gonna okay move move this so you don't like bounce it around and just I maybe could have swept that onto the lid or maybe it just would have gone everywhere. Pigment is so fucking fine. I don't know if you guys can see that shimmeriness. There you can. Okay. Every it's everything is fine. <clears throat> and we have a little I mean, like, actually, like, a goodly amount. Like, this is more than you would need for a manicure if you were just buffing it on. But since I'm going to be, like, doing it with clear, which I just have Wet n' Wild's clear, how do I want to... I don't think I want to mix this right now. I'll wait until I have it stamped up, but I'll have that ready. Mm, I've never used pigment like this. Um, oh! Okay, do you guys just hear my back crack when I reached over for that brush that I dropped? Also, hi, did I say hi, Karen? I, I don't even know. I slept like, like shit last night. It was like one of those nights where, I don't know, I was tired and I went to bed and then laid in bed for too long without falling asleep. Okay make sure oop, we might need a new it's almost it wants to grab it off of the roller make sure to roll with a clean part on here not to transfer and I might need to get like a new one soon if it gets too dirty okay we're using hollow taco one coat black for stamping and we just need like a little bit. I maybe should also have a tape cone ready. Of course, if I do this off the tip of the nail, then it might not actually matter. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, that's a horrible transfer. Horrible transfer. Okay, I've stamped with this before. I must, I'm just going in the wrong direction. That has to be it. Let's try it again. We'll go this way. That's better. It's kind of it's kind of warped a little bit. Can you guys see? And we have the plate number stuff on there too. Camera, could you just focus? Oh, we've got some pigment on there. That wouldn't matter, though. The letters mattered, though, which just came off on my thumb. Is that a valid technique? Can I just pick them up with my thumb? No. Um, okay. So. This, this bottle doesn't happen to have a brush. So I'm just going to pour some out like over here. Mm. 
Okay. And then I'm going to take this little brush here and get a little bit of this and I don't know. Do I need I need more? I don't, I don't know if this is proper. Should I just have poured it on top of this? I feel like I don't have enough clear to actually paint anything. I think I should have maybe dumped it on top of it. But I want it to be kind of thick because I want the pigment to be thick. Is it paintable? Oh yeah. Maybe this is fine. And then if it starts to dry up, I could just bring in some more top coat to other areas of it. Hmm? Okay, but then the other part is, because these particular pigments, most pigments, look best over black. So do I want to also do a coat of black on this? I guess I probably do. Let me finish this real quick. Okay, so we fully and hopefully evenly painted those flowers. It's hard to see because at certain angles it looks like you ain't do shit, and then at certain angles you can actually see it like flash. So then, because like it's it's gonna be sheer to the point of invisibility, unless we also fill in with black. Hmm. I'd want to be neater on this bottom edge because that would be the edge that's going to show on the nail. The top edge would just go off the top of the nail. Oop. That one little hair fucked me. But it's okay because guess what? Because we have tape though. Where'd my little tape go? Mm. Woo! Whoa! <laughs> okay, so. Oh, oh, oh! Mm -mm. How? Oh. You can even see a little bit of the purple. What if I turn it this way? Can I get better angles? No. Oh. Okay, so like... What that just... Yeah, like... Okay. Can you please just stick? Okay. Um, mm. I mean, are you guys, I mean, camera's not fully cooperating, but I think you guys understand what's happening here. I really like that. Oops, I just almost broke my thumbnail by getting it stuck inside of one of these. I literally, I, I'm, oh. get that, get that purple shift. Yeah, this is, I mean, I'd considered it before and then I kind of discarded using pigments this way because I was like, oh, I won't be chromey. I mean, it's not like mirror chrome, but that's gorgeous. 
And I mean, I really, I, I don't know. I would, I would not, I, I should have used something to like scoop it out or something. We've got plenty more dry pigment here. And really, I mean, probably a little bit more clear polish will wet this part up again. I don't think I'm going to need too much for the manicure. See, and then this would just like, you know, choop right on the tip. Should I, should I try some other colors? I mean, should I try it with hollow? Yeah, the black was still pretty sticky. I, I maybe even could have waited a bit longer. I'm not sure how much you guys could see on camera. It was a little bit still sticking to the stamper. Okay, so how about if I... How about if I... How about if I... That's probably way too much. That, that worked okay though, as far as getting it out in a slightly more controlled fashion. So Tay, these, these pigments are designed to be like buffed on top of polish and they get like reflectively chrome. I just, I've never, I've never used them with the clear before like this. This is, this is really good. It, it, it exclamation point inspo. Anybody that's just getting here, if you want to see my inspiration for this, I a hundred percent would have done butterflies if I had butterflies. Wait a minute. Oh, on the razor. Oh, blah, blah. <laughs> no, relatable. I mean, you know, if I wasn't too lazy and hadn't picked up one of those yet this summer. <clears throat> mm. <laughs> okay, get this. Scrape. Okay, that was kind of an experiment and that direction did not work as well. One of the things that's surprisingly picky, I should have, sh well, you guys can see on here. We didn't get the whole top of the flower. Um, some designs are surprisingly picky about what direction you roll the stamper. So apparently this one needs to be gone right to left or right, which is okay. Aren't they gorgeous? Like I'll admit I've been struggling a little bit with creativity lately. But sometimes I see something and it's just like, oh, fucking want that. See how much nicer that picked up now? Just from rolling in a different direction. So we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to take is this still. I don't know. It's getting kind of sticky. Let's pour out some more. Let's pour out a little fresh puddle of clear. That's like way more than I need. I mean, if I was doing a manicure, it would be fine. And I'm not even really that worried about it. Okay, we'll just take some of that and then just like... Okay. And then we'll just paint it on here. And it's okay if some of the edges like don't get picked up because some of this I think will go off the, the top of the nail. And uh I'm sorry if you can hear that loud, like, racing engine also, by the way. Um, I don't think it'll be that noticeable in the finished. Okay, so you got to kind of just, like, 
eyeball it to see if you're you know mostly opaque and there this probably also could benefit by some black I can see some slightly thinner spots just going to try and make sure everything is opaque and then I'll back this one with black also mm, loud neighbors how dare people be outside on this lovely day it's like 76 degrees it's super nice I feel like this is almost a little bit harder than the blue to get uh, even like I'm seeing more streakiness when I look through it from this side oh sorry a little trembly kind of kind of difficult to catch on camera but like just it's patches where I can just you know see through it a little bit more mm -hmm. and then paint it up And then we'll see how this one looks. I'm kind of tempted also to try the gold. I don't know though. Hello. Could you like with your runaway bristles here brush please cooperate. So how's everybody doing? Are you guys also having nice weather? I hope. Finally. Oops, did I just paint my ring light? Whoa, I might have just painted my ring light, you guys. You know, this also gets me thinking. Okay, that's really messy. But like, okay, so one of the things Dr. Crotron's constantly talking about is how much he loved the pigments and how they're so cool and how I ought to do like a... We're probably going to need some flashlight time on this one. I need to do like a pigment gradient. Like that might actually not be absurd with this mess. I Okay, look, I was talking about you in the abstract, Dr. Crotron. Gray and chilly, that sucks, Tay. Humid but nice. Gorgeous in the valley. Upper 60s. Ooh, that's, that's a little bit chilly, but it's nice if it's sunny. I'm a, th this one and this one, they're both just on the stamp. All right, music gal. Half an hour, probably half an hour, yeah. I don't think I can finish this that fast. I'm liking where it's going, though. I'm liking where it's going a lot. Welcome back, Dr. Crotron. No, I was only talking about you in the abstract. Yeah, it's like it's like tap touch dry, but I can still feel it sticky. So let's uh Oh, we got a little fold right there. Uh hold on guys. Ooh. Nobody's here. No, I'm actually no I'm not here. Hold on. Oops, that's not the right thing. Um, and if anybody, for whatever reason, cannot cannot view the link, like if you're on mobile and you can't you can't see, this is my inspiration. Uh, nail art by Niki, Nisi. I don't know. It's fucking. It's fucking phenomenal. It's gorgeous. I wish I had these butterflies. Um, where is the fucking flashlight? Okay, hold on. Hold on, hold on. So you guys can see the rainbows a little bit. Ooh, this is being very stuff. There, there you go. Why are you being so stubborn about showing your rainbows? Okay, why does it keep... 
really flaring out like that. Well, you guys can see, kind of. So those are very, very sparkly. All right, good night, trap. 15 tabs of plates. Relatable. If I were to... I, I, I don't use my plates enough to justify buying more, but I mean, like, this, this is a perfect example of how as many plates as I have, and I don't have anything like that, and I, I want it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so, our, our BO4, is that maniology? Do they still label their plates with bees, even though they're not Bundle Monster anymore? Did it show up before for you, Karen? I think maybe that's just Twitch being weird with the chat. Should I try the gold? The gold is kind of... I don't know if I would... Well, we, we better try the gold. I suppose we better try the gold. This one is really, really full. We gotta be careful, careful. Oh my god, it's huge and so full. We'll put this one by the black. Somebody is yelling outside, and I can't tell if it's positive yelling or negative yelling. Which is mildly concerning, but just mildly. <laughs> or is Bud's bot psychic? Okay. Clean this real quick. Doot, 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 doot. We got a little bit of leaves that time, but I'm not going to worry about it because I think that should go off the edge of my nails. Most of my nails are short enough that I should just be getting the flowers on there. So, like these little leaves here are not a big deal. And then, whoop, is this still wet? It's still pretty wet. We'll use this. Mix into the gold. Hmm. Actually, I kind of like how that's turning. It almost gets a little bit warmer when you mix it in with the clear. This one also might not need a black backing, but also it might benefit from one. I don't know. I feel like they kind of all would benefit from one. Oh, my hands are a little bit shaky. I'm glad I wasn't planning on doing anything freehand. A little bit more. They all mix a little bit differently. Of course, this is also a slightly, slightly dried up clear, like it's a little stickier than the other ones were. But I think it's also just that the pigment mixes a little differently. See, there you can see see the edge of that one flower petal, how it's kind of more like transparent-y. Let's, let's, yeah, like here. Fill in some of those spots a little bit more. Yeah, it would be interesting to work with not necessarily like a sponge gradient, but like a fan brush or even just a hand done gradient with uh, these type of mixed pigments. Oh, hey Chigasaki. I don't think it's your birthday. <laughs> 
Oh, I don't know if I've forgotten about that or if I just haven't had any good opportunity to use it yet. Oh, wait, I need to do the black still. I think I do still need to do the black because I think it'll help it. I can get a little bit more of that. Mm. Okay. Ooh. Beanie fur on this somehow? I guess maybe it's more impressive when there's not beanie fur on something. Alright. Just fill all this in. Why are these dogs all barking? Maybe another dog walking by? It sounds more like, I don't know, something else. Maybe a loose dog. Okay, sloppy but fine. We don't, we don't have to be super neat for our testing. <clears throat> okay, that's just a hot second to dry. <laughs> we are both snoring. You mayonnaise eating motherfucker. <laughs> hmm. It is. It's not something I'm super experienced with. There's various ways to like get the stamping design with the gold or with the pigment. I don't I like that one like least best. I mean it's cool. And it's quite metallic. I mean it is. Like like you like you did it on there with liquid gold. I mean this could have definitely other applications. Especially since this is like literally my largest even compared to the Sally Hansen ones, like it's it's slightly bigger, plus it's just so much fuller. And it's bigger around that way. Like like depth wise. It's it's just a lot in there. You like the blue best? I kinda do too. Just the just I mean the duochrome of it and the, the foiliness of it. And I mean the unfortunate truth with hollow is that it's not always going to be shown to its best, whereas duochrome just has many, many different bests, it seems like. Mm. I would like to try that sometime. I've seen some really cute designs done that way. Yeah. Like I said, the Sally Hansen, the pigments themselves were not bad pigments. Oh, I wish I could get another purpley angle. Who like that? Hmm. I'm almost pink at some angles too. I don't know if I can quite get the right. Can I? What if I go like that? Ooh, yeah. See, see how it it goes like past purple almost into fuchsia. It's hard. To, it's hard to show it on camera like that. But I think that's what we're gonna go with. I think that's like it. This is almost like foily. And this is, of course, hollow. And then this is like metallic. Like none of them are chrome the way they are when they're buffed on. But they've they've got kind of three very different personalities. See, like that angle, especially like you catch the sheen on this, and this one is kind of more of a of a glowy shine. Yeah, I think we're doing we're doing that. We'll just have to. The one things I want to be careful of is just to like keep the bottom neat and uh, make sure to keep the pigment even. What am I gonna do with this? This is very messy. <laughs> that might have to, I don't know. I don't know too, like as far as like putting stuff out, cause like the clear gets tacky pretty quick. The clear gets quite tacky pretty quick and I think it works better when it's more wet. Maybe I should just be like dipping 
my brush into the bottle. Of course, then, no, I don't want to contaminate the whole bottle because we've got, like, you know, we left quite a bit of gold behind in there, and you can see even we left some shimmer behind in that one, too. Okay, no, I'll just, I'll have to be more careful to... Maybe I should, do I have a bottle of this with a top in it? Maybe that would make it easier instead of, like, trying to pour it out. I was like, I felt like this was a good use for a bottle that didn't have a brush, but maybe not. Is there more in this box? There's a glitter. Hmm. I know for a fact I have other bottles of Clear Wet and Wild, but I've I've organized too well and now I don't know where they are. I found this bottle where I expected it to be, but I don't know where I put the dupes. I made more progress Monday than I did yesterday, but I made a little bit of progress yesterday, but meh. Meh. Um. I think the, the pink naked too will complement like the purpley, the purpley angles of this and look good with the blue angles too. Okay. I think, I think we have a plan, you guys. And I don't want to jinx myself, but I don't see any way that this plan could possibly far, fall apart as horribly as my last plan. Please no jinx. <laughs> okay. Let's just... Clean that off. Right of well. Okay. I... Do not need the gold because we're not going to use the gold. Wait, test what? Stop. Why does everybody have the urge to drive like a jackass? Um. Oh, I don't have a bag for the hollow. I'll have to do that later. Okay. So, let's move all these. Let's make the desk have plenty of room to do a tutorial. Um, okay. We'll need this. We'll need this. We'll need this. And this. And this one. Mm, peely base, clear, pink, sesh feet. Sesh feet may crinkle this a little. Oh, I know what it looks like. Oh, ready. I've used it before. It's fine. The top is on. Thank goodness. When your top is on, you don't have to worry about encountering something accidentally sharp on its way down to the floor. Um, let's see if this does crinkle this at all. Maybe not, though, because it's already suspended in the clear. Mm. Yeah, think, I think that still looks good. No crinkling. Cool. Okay. Mm. <sighs> okay, that was the most stubborn paper towel I've ever in my life detached. The fuck? Okay. Mm -mm -mm. I'm going to take a bathroom break before we start on the nails because I think that would be smart. No, maybe I should... Do my cuticles need attention? Maybe just a super, super quick push. My nails are this length now. This nail broke. And it's a short... It's a short... It's a shorter than everybody else nail now. Alright, we'll do a quick cuticles and then we'll do a potty break got 
Uh oh. Am I dropping frames? I'm not dropping frames. Anybody else frozen? Okay. I did drop, I have dropped 260, which is like not good, but it's not very many. And I don't think it was right then. Twitch has also been acting up for a lot of people. It's, it's, it's very frustrating because you never know if it's you or the streamer or Twitch. We've actually been pretty good today. Computer is mostly behaving. So, I don't know. Because the last last stream we had, I think we dropped several several thousands of frames. Which is very no bueno. Yeah. I mean, at 60 FPS, 260 over the course of an hour is not too bad. 0.1% the screaming it, it didn't escalate before though so I'm assuming that it was uh, okay screaming apparently okay can you guys see that little that line there I, I fully flexed this nail yesterday and bent it and I'm really lucky that that is not just a complete break like right where that line is <sighs> I'm clumsy I don't I don't know what to do about it I don't know if there's anything you can do about being just like naturally clumsy Okay, let me find you guys a little bit of Kevin McLeod's unwritten return. And then when I get back. So can you tell how pretty this is if I like leave it like. Woo! You gotta leave an enticing BRB screen so people don't don't run away while I'm gone. Ba -boom, ba -boom. Let's see. Music. Um, so yeah, I will be back very shortly, you guys. Won't take me too long, a couple minutes. And when I get back, we are going to commence the manicure. Is that a word that should be put? I don't know. I don't know if I like that. I won't say that again. <laughs>
Thank you for your patience, everybody. You, you gonna settle down there? I don't I don't have any tweets for you, I'm sorry. Basinji, thank you for the host. Hello. Settle down, why don't you? <clears throat> okay. I don't think I missed anything. Ooh, a beanie treat from Chigasaki. You ducky boy. In fact, we might get some more treats during the manicure, so let's get a couple out. You're such a good boy. <laughs> Ooh, I suppose I can take this off. Excuse me. Nom nom nom. Okay. So, yeah, this is everything I'll need. <clears throat> I think I'll put this away. This just has a little bit of that gold left on. I'm just going to wipe that off. Okay. Get some fresh acetone and let us begin. <clears throat> Let's zoom in a little closer now too. Of course, acetone is just to make sure the nails are fully, fully clean and dry before you get started with any nail art. I think the stain on my ring finger right there is from my eyeliner because like the tip of it almost fell out and I was trying to get it back in there and it got all over my fingers and that was not a happy camper oh we got the barking dogs again Left hand done. <clears throat> what the? Yeah, that's probably loose dog. Clark hears him. Maybe not. Maybe not. I don't know. It sounded like they said, get him. Or maybe they actually caught him. Because I don't hear like dog barking getting progressively closer. Clark hears him though. Oh my god. That's what I just heard. <laughs> so I think they're like that way. And I can only see like that way. Aw, that's so sweet. <clears throat> well, you are, in fact, just in time. We are just finished cleaning up and and uh, getting ready to embark upon this journey. We tested a couple other pigments, Musicale, but, like, the, the blue wins out. The middle one is hollow. It doesn't really show very much in this lighting. But the blue and the duochrome of it Oop, there's a little bit there's a little bit of purpley pink um wins yeah yeah i'm gonna try and actually record a tutorial that then can sit around and not be edited <laughs> it's i mean it's pretty oh this isn't it and like if you get it like in direct like you, you can kind of see a little bit of the where did my my other flashlight that I never really liked is it died and uh, this one really does not want to show itself on camera oh there's a rainbow it's not my hollowest 
hollow pigment. I will say that, but I mean, it's pretty. I'm, I'm actually not sure if I've used it, but certain angles of the jar, you can see it better than others. <clears throat> Maybe that's a good idea. I, I really, I don't know. I wanted to finish getting the, at least the Water Marble March ones up. I, I don't know about the fucking ones from last summer that got like overlooked in, in the shuffle of things. Those, there's like two chunks. There's like a chunk from last August. And then there's the chunk that's the rest of Water Marble March. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's. You know what I do know? I know what nail art we're about to accomplish right now. I hope this fucking better go well. Yeah, I just I wish that like Water Marble March was lame this year, including those. Without those, I think there's three that never got edited. It's, it's, it's just a very, I mean, I know it's not like normal years, but like, it was just kind of whack, kind of whack. I've been meaning to get the other couple unicorn skin vlogs up there too. And I just, I don't know. My brain just doesn't want a YouTube right now. I got to get back into it though. <clears throat> I got to new new choice um okay let us let us begin let us let us do the thing let us make my my short nails shortish nails beautiful they were really long when i filed them i know they look long right now but they still feel short to me because they were very long when i just filed them <clears throat> starting off with clean dry nails we're going to begin with the base coat i'm using hollow taco peely base and you can use whichever is your personal favorite. I wish I'd gotten more done yesterday when I skipped streaming. Like Monday was quite productive. Tuesday was productive, but less so. But I mean, I mean, I guess any productivity is good, blah, blah, blah. Nah. <laughs> it's just like after having like a really productive day and then the next day you're like, oh, I just, if I can just do all that again, I just practically would be done. And then like you don't. And then it's just like the what ifs and should have been, should have, could have. All right. I don't have any patches anymore due to the uh, the cut down and the filing. The the one that was on this nail is gone, and the one that was on this thumb, you can see, I kind of had to go. I mean, some things happened on that corner, but the patch is gone. So that's kind of nice to just like not have to worry about those anymore. Not like I don't have other weak spots in my nails or other little stuff that I'm keeping an eye on, like peeling stuff in particular, or that little flexed, flexed spot of my, of my index that I was showing you guys earlier that doesn't want to focus right now. Hello, white balance. Why are you, you know what, white balance, you just lost your privileges. You lost your motherfucking privileges. Yeah, on the one side. And it's like, I don't really want to do that on the other side. Because it's like, that's not, it's not really a shape I'm a huge fan of. I, it, like, to me, ballerinas look good on at least medium to long nails. Like, I'm not a fan of a very short ballerina. Like, I like the shape. I like a little bit of a taper, but like, not a strong ballerina on like a really short nail. Like, don't try to go to that same little tiny skinny point you would on, like, a long, long-ass nail. Yep, 
Yeah. I filed almost past that point. Like, it's at a very... If I can just grow them out a little bit more and file down actually below that point. See right there? That peeling? This finger is notorious for it. Oh, come on. You were in such good focus, camera. I, I hope you saw it. There. That little light line toward the corner that's peeling but it's not it's like most of it's the the part that's lifted is peeled off and it's thankfully not so peeled that it's like extremely weak because then they get like flexible and weird and then you just end up with a whole broken off corner like that, that's what happens with my peels it's like it starts peeling it actually peels it bends and then it just breaks right off Mm. oh cool jelly cure I've heard of that I don't have very much experience with like gel products really though I've I've seen things where coffin and ballerina are not the same too. I th I think it's kind of one of those things where it's like ah. Uh, I I think the one I saw it was like coffin was like really very long and very narrow at the tip, whereas ballerina was more like slightly tapered. I I don't know. I I yeah. I'm not a stickler for using the exact super proper name, and if anybody is, well, I think that's a little bit silly. It, you, usually, my shape ends up being kind of some kind of weird in-between combination anyway. Like, I do like a little bit of a taper because otherwise my nails look wide once I got over my fear of, like, filing my sidewalls a little bit. Oh, Yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm sure that was a stress reaction music, Al. At the time, it probably, you know, just mentally soothed you a little bit. But, yeah, kind of like a tapered square. Exactly. Yeah, so is a tapered square ballerina, or is a tapered square coffin, or is a tapered square a tapered square, and it's a whole other, you know, shape? Um, big deal. Th this is what my nails look like, y'all. Call them what you want to call them. Um, okay, we got a base coat. Base coat is dry. We're gonna naked. Oh, this is not closed. Because you like the name, but dude, that's valid, Gurkois. I say that's valid. Um, I'm just, I'll just, I'm considering. How many products do I want to introduce in the intro? Do I want to just like go over everything or do I just want to like say, hey, we're going to do this and then we're going to go on to the, to the stamping portion, I think. <clears throat> Camera. <clears throat> Who is this? The Pink Perfector. Actually, hold on. Clutchy. Hey, Dino. H how are you, Dino? <clears throat> we may or may not have decided on the non-hollow option. My simple little shape. <laughs> yeah 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 i don't know if you guys can hear this i'm just like what is going on i'm sorry it's so distracting <laughs> oh. it's my neighbors Oh, 
don't want people being so loud for. Right. <clears throat> for the base color of this French manicure, I'm going to be using Zoya's Naked Manicure Pink Perfector. Oh, that's a lot. This is really flooding my cuticles, and it's all my fault. I didn't realize I had so much on the brush. I haven't got a drip of it on the napkin, like a whole ass fucking drip of polish. Ugh. I don't know if I... I think I haven't painted my nails in months or something. It hasn't been that long since I've at least fucking painted them. Okay. And this is mainly, like, not even just for the color. It helps with the peel, like, to not have the the bed of your nail actually fully naked. And just to help out with a little bit of, like, evening out the color. My nails are pretty clean right now. They're not really stained. French manicures are the only times when I might give even half a fuck about that. But you see how they just look a little... Like airbrushed almost, you know, healthy and pink. You saw the hollow taco bottle you've been do. So, but look, we got, we got multi-chrome like foiliness going on here. You see how this, I mean, the hollow just wasn't punching. Yeah, like it, like more like a yellowish staining corrector, musical. I should have. Maybe I still do have the little pamphlet somewhere where it's like, "Ooh, use this, this for this, and this for this." As far as the actual like color correcting properties. Yeah makes them look look nice very nice the pink is probably one of my go-to's out of all of them the pink is what made me want to get more of them because I got a, a mini as a sample with something and I was like that's actually kind of nice it's like a very sheer tinty color can the centers be fun <laughs> Dr. Crowtron I don't think you're even wrong Oh, thanks music gal no what do you want what, what do you want to fancify the centers whoa From my angle right now, it's like fuchsia. Like, like that. What? Please what? If not rhinestones, what? What possibly could it be? Maybe? I'm just not right now because I, I like it the way it is. This might also be hype with like a silver stamping polish. Something like, uh, I don't know if Trixie stamps, but something like that.
<laughs> a one trick pony one trick pony named flaky no i really I, I just like it like this we're just gonna go with that it because because also my inspiration exclamation inspo dino a one trick dinosaur yeah you, you see look look at big old drip that's how much polish I fucking had on the brush, you guys. I swear. Dino, look. Just do the... Do, do the thing. I'll do the thing. It's beautiful. And that's, that's what made me want to do this, but I don't have butterflies. Okay. So, dry enough, dry enough to stamp. I think, uh, do I have another sheet on here? Oh, thank God. Do I have a spare of these? I'm down to like the last two sheets on my, on my mini lint roller. <laughs> ah. okay stamper is clean I mean stamper head is clean stamper is filthy as usual filthy dirty because I'm a lazy nail artist does anybody actually keep their stamper nice and beautiful? I'm jealous of you if you do. I know I could do it, and I don't have to be jealous, but I don't do it, and so I'm jealous. Make sure the plate isn't too dirty. <laughs> yeah, Dr. Croton, I'm sure you do. BS on anyone who claims to. <laughs> <laughs> an enormous lie I feel better you guys thank you okay so we're done with our naked um how do I want I think I want to let's get a new little small lid can I I, I think we're just going to call this a lost cause. We're not going to try to get that glitter onto this lid. And I don't think I'm going to try to do it on camera either. I, I don't want to put out like too much. I kind of, I mean, it would be great if I could just put out like the perfect amount. This looks like some kind of, some kind of drug deal or something. Disclaimer, this is a pigment for making your nails beautiful. This is not a drug. Unless you're addicted to things that are duochrome and shiny, in which case it is a drug. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to call that much enough right now. Over there. Yeah, not to be ingested. Yeah, this is the blue. It's kind of hard to. Yeah, you can kind of see. Okay, so we're going to put this safely to the side. Um, we're going to introduce these things. We're going to introduce this thing. We're going to do the thing. <clears throat> <clears throat> okay, I think I'm ready and prepared. Evil Maiden, welcome. Is it somebody sn <laughs> sniffing a marker? <laughs> I 
<clears throat> All right, you guys. <clears throat> the image that I'm going to be using today is these flowers. Image is these. Wait, that's not right. That's not a good sentence. I don't want to say it like that. Autumn fruity markers. Mm, fruit sketch. Fruity sketch, yeah. Fuck yeah. <clears throat> the image plate I'll be using today is from Moyu London. It's the Tropical Collection 03, and I'm going to be using these flowers. For my stamping polish, I'm going to be using Hollow Taco One Coat Black, and then I'm going to be using Sally Hansen's uh, Peacock Pigment mixed with a clear. Um, I'm going to be using Wet n Wild Clear to fill in the flowers. So I'm going to make sure that the plate is super clean. Just clean it with acetone before and in between. And then once I've got the image stamped, I'm going to be painting in the pigment, uh, mixing it one, one stamp at a time so that it doesn't dry out too much. So scrape, pick up. Uh, we do have the plate name on there so I'm just going to get a little bit of tape and remove that and then I have some of the pigment out here on a lid and I'm going to start mixing that with clear I'm going to add a little pool of clear that's probably more than I actually need and then just use my small brush to mix them. So grab a little bit of clear and mix it in with the pigment. It's kind of a lot of eyeballing and guessing. Grab a little bit more clear, mix it a little bit more in with the pigment to make the best guess you can about how much you're going to need for this particular stamp. So once I've got it mixed, I'm just going to go ahead and fill in each flower. Is it too wordy? <laughs> trying to really keep this neat this time since it is going to actually be going on my nail not just in the polish sketchbook so the quote unquote bottom row needs to be really clean. Make sure I didn't miss any spots. <laughs> oh, I hope that was on camera. I think I was a little bit off. This camera doesn't want to, the tutorial camera that is fully focused. That's fine though. <clears throat> Once I filled everything in with the chrome pigment polish combination, I'm just going to add a little bit of black onto my lid here and give it a backing so that the color is a little bit more vibrant. You can see there it's kind of pale. You can also use this view to make sure you didn't miss any spots. But as we add in the black, it'll get a little bit more vibrant. How many times did I just say vibrant? <laughs> oh, this, the pressure, you guys. Well, I guess it's self-induced self, self -induced pressure, but still, fucking the pressure. 
Ooh, I've just been leaning my nail, which was not fully dry, on the paper towel. I wonder how that turned out. That's fine. <clears throat> Okay, moment of truth. <clears throat> Once the black is mostly dry, but kind of still tacky, you can apply it to your nail and give it a little tap test to kind of test how dry it is. And then I'm just going to line the flowers up with my smile line and stamp them on. Then I'm gonna repeat that for all my nails. Oh, this looks so fucking good. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> I like it. That looks sick. Sick. Sick nail art, bruh. Sis. Oh. <laughs> Shouldn't have waited. <sighs> that was a gross pickup. Yeah, no, we can't use that. We're not going to use that. It's because I went to wipe off the scraper instead of immediately stamp it up, which was silly on my part. clear here mix it I think I may end up actually needing some more pigment. We'll see. Oh, I need to get that text off of there. Mm. We can do that in a minute, though. I need to not rest my hand on the on the paper towel because I almost just did. And that would have been a bad thing. I don't know how many of these I should record. Like maybe two or three extra? to like fast forwardy through. I mean, a lot of the sides, it's going to vary from each nail, but a lot of the sides are not going to really count either. I mean, obviously I don't want to be short when I go to 
stamp it on my nail, but I need to learn like how much I actually could ignore safely. It's not enough black. Sorry, I'm quiet, you guys. Just trying to make sure this is good. Especially the recorded portion. should be good okay let that dry for a minute oh I don't know if you're already on you're probably already on music out but good goodbye for now you won't believe number seven <laughs> A little, little bit wet still. We'll, oh, wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Almost made a very bad mistake. Ha 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 ha. That's what you're supposed to do first. So you don't forget. Forgetting would be not good. Corner did a weird, slightly weird thing. Do I wanna? Do like that. Oh, this is good, dude. That one's a little crooked, but it's fine. I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not thrilled with it, but I'm not furious about it either. could be worse getting shit straight with the stamp even with the see-through stamp is nowhere near as easy as it should be this one more that's a decent one we'll tape this right the fuck away so we don't forget nearly do, 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 do. sorry I have a song stuck in my head it's not even a good song I mean it's an okay song Okay, that was pretty good. Pretty good amount. What is all the yelling and hubbub about, bub? I think this is turning out so cute. I'm so pleased with it. Like the opposite of our last nail art adventure, which did not turn out cute and I was not pleased with.
Oh, that was kind of a thickish clump that just got on there, but it's okay, I think. Wendy's has a Twitch channel? That's kind of weird. What's Wendy's streaming? I mean, really. My camera's not really wanting to focus on this. The tutorial camera, I mean, for some reason. Mm -hmm. I have to listen to it after stream. That's how you're supposed to get songs out of your head, right? Is listen to the whole thing. <laughs> ooh, look at that cheeseburger. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Whoa, this memory card is kind of almost full. I wonder what's on it. <laughs> Ooh. Needs to wait a little bit more. So that came off on my finger. I, I can't show you guys without also showing the camera. Um, or I just need to be really careful when I stamp it. Yeah. I think this one is slightly crooked the opposite direction. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking A, dude. Sometimes a little bit of the edge gets like slightly weird. Camera. Okay, well apparently the camera doesn't want you to see. But I just need a little bit, just grab like literally off of the stem. I feel like I just need a little bit of blue here. Hmm. That didn't quite do what I wanted it to do. I'm gonna add a little bit of black there and then add more when I stamp the next one yeah okay mm, we are probably gonna need a little bit more powder yes it's organic it's not uneven it's asymmetrical you guys I promise. Boop. Got it all over my finger. Ooh. 
went really to the rescue. Okay. I think these are looking cute. I really like them. We're gonna we're gonna call the unevenness organic, and we're gonna turn off our automatic focus, cause it's a dick. So so metallic-y, chromey. Really, I really like it. Really, really like it. That's why we've been getting so many Dr. Croton streams. Um, in every darkness there shall be light or some shit. Oh, teaching. Hmm. I feel like teaching depends on like who your students are, whether it's cool or not. And it's always changing. So it might be cool and then like be uncool, you know? <laughs> Okay, this is kind of tedious with having to like mix the pigment at every step, but you know, I think it's worth it, right guys? I hope. It really looks like a mess. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. I hope is this yeah, this will be wide enough. I was gonna say some of them some of my nails have a little bit of overlap, but is this actually gonna be wide enough for my thumb? But I think it will be. I think we should be okay. Okay. Black. Yeah. Yeah, you just gotta like pros and cons it out. Which is, I mean, most things I suppose in life. Okay. You guys see that one little wild hair I have to be careful of? Why won't you? Why won't you get with the rest of the brush, little brush? I, I think there's either like a fight or a basketball game going on because I just keep hearing so much unintelligible shouting. I mean, if that's a viable option, I don't think there's anything wrong with that, Dr. Crotron. As long as you, you know, paying your bills and your wife ain't mad at you. Why not take a little more of a break? Yes, a couple spots. 
can you is it can i get it on camera the fact that it's not showing on camera i kind of always enjoy because it, it means it's also probably not showing to a casual observer i think there's a little spot where i was a little too eager and the black didn't transfer and the blue is not as like right there see it on the edge of that petal where the blue is a little more translucent than i would prefer the edge of the petal toward like toward my cuticle my right right there that bugs me a little bit but it's okay because like i'm I, if, if i'm having a struggle to show you like okay brain like most people aren't even going to notice just gotta give this a little bit more time before we not too much time because the moisture is also acting as our adhesive But just enough so that we don't have we have a clean stamper we don't have little black bits left behind i don't know if i even showed you guys those because i've been like so concentrating on keeping the edge neat but a couple of the stamps like i could tell i didn't get a clean completely clean transfer because there was black left behind on the stamper head these tips too we'll clean up of course once we're done cute a little, little bit uneven it's fine it's not it's not right but it's okay whose is that whose song is that i'm gonna make it anyway i'm sure i've asked this question before whitney houston yes hey marthy yeah i i really dig how these are coming out oh look at that look at that purple and pinkish fuchsia oh Brr. Oh, you gotta love a multi-chrome, y'all. How can you not love a multi-chrome? Oh, it's so pretty. I don't know what that sound means, but I think it's a pleasant sound. I just enjoy it. Oh. Oh. So good. So good. And we're almost halfway done, you guys we're about to do the thumb oops the new tape is stuck to the old tape rip yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah dino i don't know a lot of people are tripping but maybe you can find somewhere that's less crowded <clears throat> where you can, you know, spend a little time without having to be freaked out the whole time. Woo! Okay. Need more. Okay, there we go. Okay, turn this this way so it's easier. It's easier for me to paint these neatly on this side for whatever reason. And, of course, we want the side that's going to be facing toward my cuticles to be neat so it's not janky looking. The other end isn't going to matter as much because it's going to go off the tip of the nail. And the actual design, like you guys see this one I'm about to paint right here, it doesn't actually have an, a bottom because it goes off the edge of the plate, this one right here. So what I've been doing is just filling it in as though it were a regular petal and then very slightly overlapping with the black layer there in order to give it an edge. I think it's worked okay pretty far. Pretty okay so far? Oh my gosh. Words. Words are hard. Ooh. 
whoop, ooh, that was almost bad. Other reasons you don't want to put too much out on the lid. Sometimes you just catch the lid at an angle where the lid just wants to yeet everything that's on it. And that's, I mean, that's such a huge difference that the black background makes. It's your weekend. That's always nice. Even if it's not a traditional weekend. You know, it's a little too tacky. Let's get a little bit more fresh. Fresh black. <clears throat> oh. I'm I'm kind of tired, you guys. I'm sorry. I'm a little bit low energy. This is the wrong direction again. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream tonight. Like, if I can't perk up, I think probably not. I kind of want to. Like, I've got other things. Other goals that are as yet unmet. On the gaming side. But I don't know. I, d I definitely wanted to get a nail stream in, though, because, like, my nails have been naked for uh, several, several days. Um, that glitter actually wore fully like shit. And I've already broken one nail, and I didn't want to break another, so. And like I said, they're just the slightest of little overlaps. Okay, and then let it dry, not fully, but well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, yeah. Maybe sun can refresh, I hope? Question mark? Yeah. Well, I, I don't know if it's your computer. It could be. It could very well be Twitch. It's not me. I have not dropped any more frames. 260 still, which is what it was before. And apparently, 0.1% must be as low as live split can show because we've been gone a whole other hour and it's still that percent. Oh, Hello Kitty. I bet that's adorable. Yeah, these are, there's a little bit of a learning curve to them, but I mean, for like detailed work and I mean, for stuff like this, I've got a pretty large collection. I mean, like this plate has, I don't know how many, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve images on it. There's, there are some plates that are even bigger than this and some that are a little bit smaller, more like, sorry, Bane, excuse me, like this size, which we almost went with, which would have, I mean, actually been like kind of similar if we'd have gone with, with these flowers. But yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of stamping plates. Okay. Fucking so cute, dude. Oh. I love this. Crooked little crooked tips and all. I fucking love it. It's adorable. Mm. Oh, no overtime. Oof, this acetone is really dirty. Probably going to have to clean that in a minute. Just get more. It's almost also almost gone, and we have a whole nother hand to do. I should probably just add more in here. I'll just sop up what's in here with the Q-tips, and then refill it. Yeah, that's true. 
Hopefully most people look at it that way. <clears throat> oh, you guys. Oh, it's so cute. Oh. oh, even though, of course, maybe that was the tip of the nail. See, that's like the kind of stuff that gets left behind on the stamper. Now, if that's in the middle of the design, it's going to be a problem. If it's just like on the tip, then it's usually fine. Otherwise, I mean, we do have some, you can see little polish edges and stuff that we need to clean up here, but I'm going to finish the other hand first. You know, yeah. Purple and blue and all good things. <laughs> yeah, it's, I wish... It's, it's tricky to get them on camera. Ooh. But yeah, I, this is a really nice pigment. I like, I like, I like a blue to purple shift. Mm. Uh, Instagram. I mean, I still adore Instagram. Instagram is where the inspiration for this manicure literally came from. Exclamation inspo. If you haven't seen it, I just, I don't know. Oh, that was a very poor pickup. I got to a point where I felt like I should be including watermarks and then watermarks turned into a hassle and then I just didn't post anymore, I guess. Is what happened. Yeah. Yeah. I, I still, like, I want that butterfly plate. I feel like I can't justify buying it, but I, like, absolutely want that butterfly plate. It's so fucking cute. I mean, I, I love that idea of a French tip that's not just, like, oh, it's a French tip. Like, French tips that are fancy, unique, a little bit different. People love to look at sleeping cats, though, son. Because cats. Cats of whatever type are good cats. Okay, I feel like I got a really big drop of polish that time. I feel like I'm getting just, like, varying amounts and then, like, how much I have depending on whether I need to go back. Like, that's, like, plenty. I don't need to even get more. I feel like I should trim this one wild, wild hair. But I'm probably not gonna because I'm lazy. I guess I'm not lazy. I'm just lazy in certain things. Like, because most people be like, uh, you're just like doing complicated nail art. You're not lazy. But I am lazy though. Just not about this, I guess. <laughs> mm. Mm, a little bit more. Okay, black. Put him a little suit and tie. I have a cat tree for Beanie. If I could just make room to actually have it in here. There has been progress. I don't know if you guys can tell. That blue label right there, like poking through that that handle in that grocery bag, that's the that's the other helmers on the other side of the room. They're visible. They're not just buried behind shit. They're actually visible and semi accessible. Which is miraculous.
Okay. I feel like I am getting better at this as I go along. Like, you kind of get a feel of where you can get away with being messy and where it really, really matters that you are neat. <laughs> Beanie rotates where his favorite spot is. I mean, he loves his chair. He's very comfy today. I need to scoot this for a minute. Look at it. Can you see his little tail is like lapping over his leg, like right, right there. Yeah, he's been enjoying the window. So have I. I really like having, cause like you guys know, the window's like right there but soon I'll have to put the air conditioner in it so I won't be able to have it as nicely open yeah the lilacs are so good right now big ol mm. big ol bouquet mm. a little bit longer Sometimes I think it depends too on like exactly uh, like how thick the black ends up being. I don't know. Like so, like I think I lucked out on kind of my first nail. I think this just needs a little bit more in here. And some of the other ones have taken longer than that for the black to dry enough to actually stamp on. Alright. Oh. It's just, it's just, so, see, but look at though. So where... Where's that from? I don't, I don't, wait a minute. How I was thinking about it before wouldn't work or wouldn't be the case because of, wait a minute, that's not, wait. That's not the order that I put them down. Maybe that's not what happened. Maybe I just didn't paint it on good in that spot. Couldn't leave the black behind without also leaving the pigment behind. I'm silly. my toes oh man my toes i need to do them they need a considerable amount of attention kids are weird they they just are <laughs> Oh, that kid was running from an imaginary I don't know what. It's like, oh, oh. It's like, what? What are you <laughs> imaginarily being chased by, kid? People, yeah, I guess that's true. It's not just kids. Mostly, what I can see out my window right now is kids. Of course, the sounds I heard earlier, I think, were adults. Whoa, that was a lot. That was more than I intended. I'm gonna need more than that. Getting it out of that little corner edge where it fl flowed, flued, flowed, flowed, fluid, where the fluid flowed. <laughs> it was like a little tricky like it didn't wanna alright so we just need f this is this one and three additional 
and we'll be done. Well, we'll need to top coat and things. But we'll be done with the hassle that is reverse stamping. I like reverse stamping. I mean, it's fun in a way. It's it's kind of like a it's like artsy craftsy kind of a nail art. But usually about halfway through it does get kind of tedious. But I mean, it's worth it. I'm not like, "Oh man." But like kind of you know what I mean? You guys know. It's worth. But I'd rather be done. This, I guess, too, is kind of like double duty. Because we're having to do the pigment layer and then we're having to do the black layer. So it's really like I'm almost doing like two rounds of double stamping. Although it's just on one round. And I'm glad my hands aren't any more unsteady than they are or we'd be having a problem maybe I will post this one on Instagram just so I could tag that was it nail art by my niece Niki that inspired me because I always have a warm, fuzzy feeling when people get inspired by me. Like, inspiring people is a purely feel-good feeling, I think. You know? Like a tagger. <clears throat> the flowing fluid funneled in the furrow when it filled it fully. <laughs> mm. And then, boy... I'm gonna be ready for some food. What time? Oh, it's gosh, it's almost eight. Well, seven thirty-seven. Is that almost eight? Can that count as almost eight? I I think maybe. I almost wish it's a bit late to do it now, but I almost wish I'd pulled out another stamper, and then I could have been working on a second one while this one was drying. Like rounding up if it's higher than five. This is a good point. Yeah, but then it's close. Yeah, it's like, you know, point six is one or point six is, you know. I guess it depends how much you're rounding. Are we rounding to holes or are we rounding to halves? If we round to halves, then I guess it's kind of 730. What is oh that's like the side of the flower I was like what is this that got left behind it's the, the side of the flower which is it's fine you ever have people drive by with really loud music and it's a very interesting choice of music to be playing so loud <laughs> what, what happened here Where'd, where'd that come from? Oh, see, we got another little spot here. See see that corner? How it's... Maybe that is partly what was still on the... On the stamper. So... Is that not the wettest black? God, things dry out really fast. Okay, that's gross. Let me just... Meh. Like, we'll just add a little bit of black here. Like that. And then we'll add a little bit of pigment on top of that. I think we'll do that. Can you see, right? Like, it, it looks like, it looks like early tip wear. When we're, like, literally just not even done with the manicure. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black on this one also. And then we'll add pigment on top. That's a fairly easy fix. La croissant has become a baguette. <laughs> yeah, after 45. So it's not almost 8, but... It's getting later in the evening. It's funny, because if I wasn't streaming, I can almost guarantee that I don't think I'd feel this hungry now. 
Does that mean that streaming is a workout? Streaming is making me hungry. Sometimes you get a little line under the text. It's from like that crevice right there. We're, we're probably going to need a little bit more powder, I think. Or can I? Whoa. I almost spilled it. I just was going to try to tap it. Like tap it out a little bit. Like into a larger space. Maybe we can make that work. We'll see. No, I think I'm going to need more. Maybe not? I don't know. It's so hard to tell. Okay, maybe we can get away with this. I'm literally going to change my mind up until the last moment. I hope you guys know. <laughs> oh, also, I, I mentioned it in Discord earlier. Did anybody go and look at the new redemption? We're at a point where we can round up to a quarter to eight, yeah. missing stuff yeah well is it maybe just not as much quantity or i don't know or maybe something's on sale if it's like half though that does seem suspicious like what is forgotten now as i as i mentioned in discord this is not actually redemption that I really want people to redeem but I thought it would be a good meme and I thought that I might have a couple few evil people in my community who might actually redeem it but please know that if you redeem it you're a horrible person <laughs> oh you did son I didn't see it I missed it <laughs> yeah i was uh i was in fireborn stream and he is notorious for murdering the fuck out of the nailsmith in 112 i suppose he probably would if he played 106 too and uh his his redemption is to save the nailsmith and somebody was like oh my god we're coming up does anyone have enough points to save the nailsmith? And I was like, literally less than 20 points short. I was like, I'm short points. I was like, maybe I'll get enough points in time. And I was able to save Ronnie Joe's life today. And it kind of inspired me. Said it needed to be higher. Well, of the people that answered, nobody had like a huge, huge amount of points. Like I think, was it you were Amethyst that said they had 150,000. Oh, you got extra last time. That might be Amethyst. Yeah. Well, because he, hate, he hates saving him, and I would really hate to kill him. It only cost me 9999 to save him. See, I'm, I'm sure you guys have to have some of the highest amounts. Um... And I don't think you guys would do it. Now, you know who we need to worry about is Luke and Gidge probably and watch Luke come and watch this VOD and watch exactly this part and then call me out on it later. 
<laughs> but Luke will murder Ronnie Joe when he gets the chance, and my and uh, Gidge will too. The only one she doesn't murder is Mila. Mm. So I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. <laughs> I don't think either of them. Gidge buys a lot of beanie treats. Luke buys a lot of Valley Girl. But they might decide that they need to start saving up. Also, if it's if it's done to me in a good run, it means that the person hates me because killing the nailsmith is slow. You could be sabotaging a PB with that redemption. What is this red dot? Where did this red? Okay, it it got it went away. Oh no, what did I do here? What? Okay, what did we do to this nail? Okay, autofocus is off. What did we do to this nail? It's like the peely area, except it like peeled off the, the naked or it peeled off the peely. I, I don't know what happened here. I'm just going to stamp on top of it. I don't care enough to fix it having cravings again what kind of cravings i'm having pizza for dinner so i don't need to crave anything because that's gonna be delicious Ooh, just gotta see that we gotta carefully rectify that almost lift it completely off that corner and that wasn't even the corner that was giving us issues okay two more wedding cake mochi okay that's very specific that's like so specific is that even a craving you can satisfy sounds like some some gourmet special order shit See, there's that line I was talking about right under the text. It just, sometimes it catches that too. Of course, you do not want that on your nail. Okay, can we make this little last pile of powder last two nails? Find out now on Coletta MSLP. Okay, we're gonna like try to eyeball it and not like not go over the halfway like that much. Is that gonna be enough? Or is it gonna be enough? Mm I think I think we're maybe okay, you guys. Maybe. Possibly. Okay. <clears throat> hey, Entropy. Whoa. That was a little glommy. A little, little bit of glom there. Yeah, that's actually way more black than I need, but... Not a huge deal. Mm. It must be 10 till my Fitbit just buzzed at me. As in, get your ass up, you've been sitting all hour. 
Sometimes I don't notice when it does that. I'm sure it does it, like, frequently to me. I try to get up and stretch. Oh, goodness. Mochi's, like... What, I don't, what is the stuff it's covered in? It's got, like, ice cream in the middle of it, and around the outside is rice paste? Gum paste? What is it called? It does look like uncooked bread dough. Pounded rice. Yeah. Sometimes they have ice cream inside. Yeah. I don't know how I'd feel about it all by itself. I mean, it's... It's it's not bad. It's interesting. It's it's probably... It's like a texture you maybe never had before in your mouth. And you just have to decide if you like the flavors or not. I mean, there's lots of flavors. You know, from like green tea to mango. Do we have any other spots? Like right here we have another little spot where it's getting a little tipware looking. We'll just touch this up like a small amount. Oopsie. This is, let me clean this off. This brush is very stiff. And then we'll we'll touch up with pigment after we do the last nail. Trying to just there. <clears throat> now that looks. Well, I could tell just looking at that. That's still too wet. Don't rush. It's not worth it. Why is cooking in uh, quotation? <laughs> How's the multi-chrome show up on this camera? Ooh, they're, they're like glowy almost. <sighs> Shiny. Oh, these are so pretty. I'm very happy with them. Okay. Perhaps being impatient. Whew. It's okay. It is okay. That's a really good one, actually, because we got it to, like, even, like, cap the tip. Like, none of it ripped. One more. <clears throat> Not everything made on this show is edible. Mm. <laughs> now I'm like, I don't know. I probably don't want to know, but I kind of want to know. <laughs> okay. Let's get a good pickup. We haven't had to do too many, like, restamps, which is nice. Okay. Thankfully, those were not famous last words. It's kind of loud. Okay. A little bit of clear. And we've got this whole last little section to work with for the stamping and for the filling in on those other couple nails that we have. This whole last bit of powder can get worked in. Yeah, I feel like this would be fun 
to do with more than one color of the pigment? Imagine like a stained glass design or something using more than one color of the pigment or to like freehand with the pigment. I just really, I, I love the finish that's coming out of this. Okay, so we're going to take a little bit of this and we're going to touch up here. We're going to touch up there. We're going to touch up here. And some of these may like be covering up little small details or whatever, but it's kind of like when we correct water marbles. We're not really just strictly trying to get it to look exactly the same. We're just trying to like camouflage oopsies. So, like that. Okay. And then we'll finish this off with some black. And we'll stamp it on, we'll clean it up, we'll top coat, and we will be done. It's actually like several more things, but it won't take that long. And then I can go have pizza. <clears throat> and as it must surely be 8 o'clock by now. Okay, not quite, but damn near. I'm gonna go ahead and say probably almost certainly not like no evening stream because by the time I clean up after this and get food and eat food it's gonna be late later than I want to be starting a stream if I want to keep my current sleep schedule intact which is not a horrible schedule like I mean it could be better Hey Zoat. No, this is a. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell with the with the image on, but it's it's uh it's made out of silicone. Doubtful pointed out that it looked much like a fake boob. <laughs> I remember that the last time when we were doing the smushy. Mm. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Oh, musical. I mean, you right. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm I'm not gonna say it because then it would definitely get quoted <laughs> out of context as usual. Hmm. I hope you're doing well, though. So anybody else too who might have come in while I'm like in concentration mode. Hey, C4! Speaking of other people who may have come in while I've been in concentration mode. <laughs> Hello. Mm. Yeah, there are others. I like the silicone ones because they're like they're flexible, so it makes it easier. Like, well, you'll see in a second when I stamp on my nail. In fact, we'll call that dry enough. Ooh, how low do I want to go with this? This is my shortest nail right now. We're just gonna we're gonna camouflage it. We're gonna go like that so then when you smoosh it on the nail then it you know easily conforms to the nail you can get the level of comp complication that i'm doing is not necessary in order to use the the uh the stamping process what i'm doing is called reverse stamping which is using a stamp as kind of a template and filling it in on the back side to uh like fill in the design. All right, we need some cleanup and then some top coat. Yeah, and I mean, there's a, a wide, wide variety of plates. I mean, literally just about everything you could imagine. You can see the one that I'm using here because it's dirty, which I was just using a portion of the image. But yeah, there's tons. What are you making noise about, phone? Please don't. Please don't make so much noise. Um, 
So actually we did a pretty, I mean, there, there's some waste here. There is. Cause I mean, some's going to get in there and it's going to be dried and whatever, but I think I did a pretty good job estimating how much pigment I'd need there. And if, if I had done two stampers worth, I think I made, it might've had a little bit less waste cause it wouldn't have been drying as fast. Yeah, for sure. Zo. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure there are people who use this for other than just, uh, like nail art and this is nice also because like you can see through it so like when I'm stamping I can see where I'm placing stuff in the olden days they were opaque and then this protects it they were opaque and life was really hard if you wanted to be stamping things and being precise you just had to cross your fingers <laughs> oh I think I'm gonna need to clean out this this acetone again because it's all super super dirty so hold on a sec and get some fresh to clean up with. The, the Hollow Taco Black is one of my favorite blacks as far as cleaning up because it doesn't leave a lot of residue behind. But, you know, it helps to have clean acetone. Yeah, I mean, it really is. I mean, I'm sure maybe it's based on some other... I mean, I don't know if nail art was the first application of, like, you know, etched image plates such as this no in fact i know that it's not because i've seen one of those strangely satisfying videos where they have like a giant stamper head and they're doing uh plates they're like stamping the images on plates <gasps> oh goodness excuse me there try and get the black off to the side here All right, we will do a little bit of cleanup. Just around the sides. Mm. The pigment is quite stubborn. The black cleans up pretty nice. The pigment is quite stubborn, which is, I mean, good to know for next time. Just have to be very mindful with it. And it is leaving a little bit of residue too, like around the edges, but a lot of that will wash off when I wash my hands as long as the polish part is cleaned up. Is that Clark? I should know my own dog's bark. I don't think it is. No, it's too yappy. Too yappy to be my Clarky. Yeah. That was pretty easy cleanup. Oop. Oh, it's fine. Almost jammed my nail. I'm gonna use a Q tip for some of the underside. So you get that tip cleaned off and some of what kind of wraps around the side too. Oh, water marbling is not fake zone. I do that too. <laughs> yeah. Call it. <laughs> your so your voice to text can tell the difference between cock and cock, but it can't tell the difference between call it and call it. That's pretty good. Muse ago. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I've been on YouTube for a long time. My YouTube channel is, I don't know. I'm going through some things. I need to get back to editing on a more regular basis. Honestly, I think Monday would have been a good day for editing if I hadn't been moving so much stuff around. 
you know, I kind of got slightly organized, but also slightly disorganized when I had to make room for the cable guy. Some of you may have noticed that, like, there was, like, a, a box that was visible over my shoulder here the past couple streams. That's gone, thankfully. That's out of the way. It's just so much of my space is taken up by nail polish, which is an absurd statement that storing other stuff in such a way that it's logical, accessible if I actually want it is kind of a challenge given limited space. Ooh, oh music, yeah. Water marbling paper is so fun looking. I've never done it. I actually got a couple ideas for water marbling from watching like paper marbling though. <laughs> but spot. Yeah, ten years. A little little bit of a long time. Alright, let's get these undersides. couple other little dirty spots <sighs> let's, let's just double check in here that nothing weird happened with top coat yeah nothing weird happened with top coat maybe a very very slight change in the finish but very very slight um, the the chrome that I use the pigment when it's applied when it's buffed in and applied as a chrome it has a tendency to like crinkle and crackle with a regular top coat but I think this will be oh thank you Zod yeah the main thing with water marbling is just patience and practice and trial and error as much as people don't want to hear it people are just like well what is just the best brand like it, there's not a best brand you just gotta you gotta try shit and see if it works hmm Happy anniversary, son. Or anniversary, at least. I don't know how happy of an anniversary it is. I know you had some trials and tribulations at that place. Yes, that would be messy. All right. We are, in fact, recording for my YouTube channel right now. If I actually edit the concept. <clears throat> Once you've finished with cleanup, you can go ahead and finish with a top coat. And as usual, I'm using Sesh Feet. Oh, that's actually just so good. It like gives the multi-chrome a little bit more depth, I think. This is almost... No, I'd, I'd go so far as to say this is a more accessible way of using powders than buffing them on. Because, I mean, you, you can do buffed powder or buffed pigment technique with regular polish, but it's really such a pain in the butt. And it's messy. Like, it gets everywhere and in the air and everything and... I feel like this just turned out looking really good. Did it use more pigment than, you know, a, a buffed style manicure would have done? Uh, doubtless. Doubtless, yes. Uh, for those who don't know, like that other technique, you basically use like a, like a little eyeshadow sponge tip applicator and just like the smallest little amount to buff into your nails. But, ugh. This just turned out really good. I just, I love it. And the, oh, the multi-chrome, that fuchsia purple pink flash of glowing coolness. Oh, it's so good. Mm. <laughs> butt spot, butt spot's on a roll. <laughs> And it's nice to have a manicure that I really... Like that that glitter that we ended up doing when the smooshie didn't work, it was fine, but it wore so poorly, I literally only had it on like maybe a day. And then my nails have been naked since then. Which is a disgrace. 
Oh, I should have filled that in with a little bit of pigment there. It's all right. It's not really too noticeable right on the corner or the tip. We got a little black speck there. Oh, well. I'm not worrying about that either. You know why, guys? Because I'm fucking hungry. <laughs> and I'm ready to be done with my nails. And it's just Poe's little right hand. Poe's little right hand. Just going to have to deal with a little black speck in my French manicure. Beanie is, like, so comfy. I'm going to move the flowers in a second so you guys can see him. He's been sleeping in so many adorable positions during today's stream. Oh, no. You you lifted your adorable head. <laughs> His arms are like stretched out in front of him. Yeah. Handsome. <laughs> wow, it's going to take forever. Now that's where you are. Yeah. Yeah, when I left, like the day I left, my job was my 10 year anniversary, my office job. A smoosh butt. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually kind of... Let's move this. I'm surprised he's laying with his face so close to that one because it's the one I was using, so it's got a little dried polish on it, and you guys know he's not about polish smell. Like, if I try to pet him or give him treats with slightly, even slightly barely wet nails, he'll turn up his... Okay, I'm going to just... Look at how his little arms are crossed. It's too cute, Beanie. I love you. You're adorable. <laughs> he just looks so comfy. Um. So yeah, you guys, we we did a thing. We we did a really good thing. Can we, can we get a shot with with both colors? Maybe like, yeah, that's better. The purple and the blue. Like it, it really it go it goes almost to fuchsia like it shifts through the purple kind of quick and it gets to like almost a pinky fuchsia oh. <laughs> thank you entropy i'm pretty delighted with them too and you guys know i mean i try to keep it neutral on my tutorials because one thing i've learned is even if i hate it it will be somebody's favorite but like on stream i if i don't like something i i can't keep it to myself I, I absolutely let you guys know if I don't like anything. And of course, like anybody that doesn't know, like new people that maybe haven't seen nails done before, my nails are dry. Sesh V, get, your, get yourself a quick dry top coat. It will change your nail life for the better. Let me see where I can find to, uh, to send you people. Thank you so much for hanging out. I, uh, it was a good stream. I enjoyed this. I enjoy this manicure. It's 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 not, you know, and, and this is like one of those things where it's, you know, what, what, like the words are having such trouble coming out of my mouth. I took the inspiration and ran with it. Exclamation inspo if you haven't seen it. I didn't have butterflies, so we went with flowers. And I just, I really like the way this came out. Um, would you guys, would you guys like some glass blowing or some Final Fantasy or some more nail art? Or what else is going on? I don't see anything else going on. I actually, I actually see where probably I will go, but... I host him not that long ago and he doesn't really need my host. Um, can I, or I should also check mm, by tag. Mm. 
final glass fantasy. Gonna head out, music gal. All right, thanks for hanging out. Glass is fun. This is true. It's been a while since I raided Toby also. And it looks like he's just getting going. Um, at least according to the following page. Yeah, been up for less than five minutes. So, um, it's about spot kids. <laughs> if you would like to, oh, are they doing a race? I might have to check that out too. I like to raid creative when I'm doing creative stuff. And uh, it has been a while since I, since I raided Toby. Head over here. Although I'll confess, I, I eventually will probably head myself over to Darby and because you know, the, the Mario is just too hard to resist. Um, raid. Did I say Discord's open to everybody and anybody who, who would like to hang out in a cool place? If you would like to simple little raid with me, feel free to drop the beanies or whatever cute little emotes you might happen to have. Um, Thank you guys so much. I, I don't know what else to say. I, I wish that I'd gotten started a little bit earlier so that I could uh, be finishing a little bit earlier, maybe do an evening stream, but the, the week isn't over. We'll do games some other night and uh, I will announce that in Discord. So these are, I'm, these are so cute. This, this lifted my mood. I hope it lifted your mood too. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your whatever time of day it is in your local time zone. And I hope I'll see you next time. I get people, I've, I've gotten lots of people to finish, okay? Hey! I don't know where that little raid song is from. Of course, if you're watching on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed as well. Please feel free to subscribe. And of course, if you'd like white. to hey. join me live, come follow Thank at twitch.tv slash Coletta Thank you very, very much. And of course, that, uh, that thanks for watching. Welcome, welcome, welcome.